Dangerous young men who are shot in broad daylight by a police officer. Traces of killings that happen here. The two were in a private car within the park. The, police on the, the robbers uh, drew a pistol and were attempting to shoot at the driver. Last evening, police gunned down another four suspects at the cabanas along the Nairobi Mombasa Highway. Of extrajudicial killings in the hands of police officers. Why don't you just nab the person and take them maybe to court? Change fire with the suspected gangster. Of duty in the civilian This is the latest shooting incident in brings to multi the number of suspects so far killed by 7 a.m. the last few weeks in the war on crime. <laughs> Any person who's lived in Madare for longer than five years has lost either a friend or a neighbor or someone they just know to a police a police shooting. All through my, my high school life, I've seen police officers arbitrarily arresting people. I've personally been harassed, I've been beaten up by the police. And they did it in such a casual manner, like it's something we should expect from them. In Kenya, we are only have two phrases. You are innocent until proven guilty. That one is for the rich. But in Madare, it's like you're guilty until proven innocent. We used to do car washing. And every time the police would come and collect the bribe, uh, attack us and uh, sometimes uh, break our bucket. And I was feeling very bad being exposed to police brutality. No one cares about your, your safety. And we cannot really protect our lives. We cannot take arms and, and say that we are going to defend ourselves. Because in itself, it's also criminal. So this is Nura Malika's mother, 17 year old from Huruma police station, uh, gunned down, all right, she's here because she's got pain in her heart, you know, it's her son. All these boards represent a child, a father, a brother, you know, a son. And what they do, they like profile um, a youth. A uh, poor background, you can do nothing, a police can do anything to you. And then after killing the youth, they like, Post like to Likwambia, no kutu skia. Sasa ume, ume kula pamba. You can be shot even mistakenly. And when police realize they have done it uh, wrong, uh, they kill you because they don't want to be seen doing wrong things. And then they say you are thug. Despite the second liberation and the new constitution, we still have issues of young men being killed by police each and every other day in our slums. Police brutality, illegal detention, extortion has become normalized in informal settlement areas. It's very wrong because they are killing a generation, a certain generation, and it, it's affecting the informal settlement. They do not really argue with you. They do not even introduce themselves to you. They are more of a, a gang, a gang of people who are just out there to shoot anyone who seems to annoy them. So sometimes it's very difficult for you to organize when there are these extrajudicial killings, which is an embodiment of breakdown of the rule of law. So for us, it was like asking a question as why is there a breakdown of the rule of law in the formal settlement? And you find the police are not there to protect us, but always to victimize us. Saba Saba began as an idea 
because all of us were organizing um, on uh, issues of police brutality and extrajudicial killings. We shared ideas of what we need to, what we want to do. And of course we knew very uh, clearly and very well that on Saba Saba it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a very, it's a historical day. Uh, in the early 90s where there was a march for multi-party democracy and people were convened in uh, Kam Kunji, Kam Kunji grounds. And so we'll also be going to Kam Kunji grounds to be, demand that poor people are not second class citizens, that like there should be no more killer cops in their neighborhoods. So the Sabasaba March for Our Lives helped to, to, to unify the grassroots movement and also build alliances with, the, with the other national human rights organizations. Sabasaba is a day that uh, Kenyan people organize and pass their grievances so that the government can listen to them as one. We started meeting in 2014, and really that was our foundational uh, campaign, extrajudicial killing, because too many people had been. We knew from my 10 years there, from people's lives here, their family members had been killed, so many people had been killed, and there was nothing happening. So that's how we started meeting. But only one policeman who came. Uh, he's not well known. He's known by them, but he is not known by the community. He was directly, directly supporting uh, extrajudicial killings. So the issue of Rashid was uh, very minimal discussed. It wasn't because he wasn't there, and uh, of course it was an intention to invite him, but it's very hard for him to attend any community forum. Right now we have written back finally. <laughs> We're going to plant some trees in memory of the people who've been killed. If, for example, the police kill someone in Madare, uh, because it's in Madare, people will assume it's a criminal. Even if it should, we really should question why we think it's normal to kill criminals. But because uh, deaths happen in Madare, then it's seen as legitimate to be killed. And it becomes normalized, even in the community. But this is what we're fighting against. We're not just fighting against dead bodies. We're fighting against the narrative that completely removes any right to life of that person. So for us, we are not just counting who the dead are, but we are saying this is their life. This is what they lived. And we need to fight these narratives that frame their lives as disposable or illegitimate. There was no obstacle in organizing. It was a smooth organizing because people were ready to express this anger and it was uh, it was not just in Gedurai or in Madare or Dandora it was like in all over Nairobi <laughs> the police were so ready that we were we were about to fight with them but we, we, we end calmly and uh, the, the event was successful and the police gone and they said that that was the best match ever. We were so surprised and we didn't even think that we could walk that long and we were not tired and people continued joining us and they wanted to know, they were so like, they were so interested to know what is this about, what is this Saba Saba match for our life. They are good policemen out there who really also feel the issue of extrajudicial killings. But we have a few who are doing it. Yeah? We just wrote uh, letters to the police, co uh, to the OC, to the police stations demanding uh, protection for the event, which worked very well. Yeah, we were, there was no exchanging with the police. So the government was uh, providing security.
structuring and organizing. And a lot of people came out to to see what was happening and to watch what, what was happening. So uh, that for us was uh, a historical uh, moment. In every 17 constituencies of Nairobi, because in every 17 constituencies of Nairobi, there is an informal settlement where there is rampant human rights violation. If you can have, like, Kayole Social Justice Center, Mukuru Social Justice Center, Kembio Social Justice Center, Kibera Social Justice Center, then from there we will have voices of grassroots movement coming together. We've moved from uh, Madare and now we've help to establish other justice centers in Dandora, in Kamukunji, in Githurai, in even Kibera, and recently in Kiambio. People are getting to understand uh, uh, what is extrajudicial killings. In this so-called era where we have a new constitution that guarantees the right to life, where we are supposedly in an era where there are lots of human rights NGOs and all of these things, how and why are these killings so rampant? But I think there are many factors at play, including the militarization of our lives all the time and the fact that I think this comes about because you have to police the barriers between rich and poor all the time and the poor are growing. Daniel Kamoto, Christopher Maina, Nora Malicha, Bena Dokon. We inherited this kind of country from uh, future generations. We've inherited a uh, freedom that was was hard earned. People sweat and shed blood for it. Yeah, and we we take this uh, these laws to guide us to to show us or rather to protect this kind of freedom that was hard earned. And also, we received support from the national human rights movement, like uh, Amnesty International, Peace Brigade, and uh, other progressive forces who came to support the struggle against extrajudicial killings. So within a period of four to five months, there were no shootings. It had stopped. Things were very much okay. And all of a sudden, they started with six young people uh, from Dandora and uh, other areas. Our mission should be restoring our dignity and taking back our country and building uh, a democratic state founded on social justice. That should be our mission. If we lie low a little bit, then again, they continue doing it. So we need to keep on shouting, keep on uh, making a creating awareness to the community. So if we continue organizing kind of these Saba Saba matches eh, to expose these rock cops, it will work. This Saba Saba for 2019 will have more impact and we'll uh, stop the, the bullets. And that's why I say time is Sankara time, so the people can liberate themselves. Share a corrupt.
boy in bed Sister na brother Suddenly system kukwara di kwara Ndiyo para kusnatch Masimu vibeki kwa rodi Kuhepa boarding na scolding na molding My youth, mbona mna shoot Uongo si kolo si drugs Iyo ni issue wasewa na drug Alafu nowadays Hakuna kusanya mambao Kisa na log ya mbao Nindenga mchuma mazishi Misa after joe kusanya madhao It's so sad in Nairobi Islands The youth man is being killed Hata kama ajafika mbao Madem, pia wamengia kwa game Masling, mapetko kusunda kimali online ni fem Chisha, chisha, kamisha, kamishna, lalisha Aepoa nao wamepoa Nishike ni peleke ndani usipige risasi Usifiche jo aidi ya shule uweke risasi Usitupe basi mwilibea wazazi wa si Please, Mr. Police, police jo I repeat, jo ni mi Sight, I repeat, fuck a lini Nishike ni peleke ndani, sishucho police Mwamoe wa kondani, mademo wa kondani Police, 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 Police,